Bill, your company has achieved a major solar breakthrough. Basically, we're making a high temperature solar oven. This is a solar oven that's operating at 1,000 degrees Celsius, so way, way hotter than your typical oven. But at those temperatures, we can do these serious industrial processes that release a lot of CO2, like cement making, steel making, glass making. All of those industries, they don't use electricity, they use heat. And formerly, that wasn't possible from solar energy. And finally, we're able to do that and really, really reduce CO2 emissions at an industrial scale. The climate crisis is here. It's not some hypothetical issue. Cement is one of the largest culprits of generating CO2. And if we can actually create heat at an industrial scale harnessing the power of the sun, here's an opportunity. We think about solar power as traditionally panels on top of rooftops. Can you tell me how Heliogen is different from that kind of traditional solar power? Traditional solar panel is making electricity. About 25% of the world's demand for energy is electricity. That's to power our lights and our devices and so on. The heat for refineries, that is the dominant form of energy usage and the dominant form of emissions. So PV panels or solar panels that you put on your rooftop can't make the high temperature heat that industry needs. So we really feel we're the first company to provide that high temperature heat for the bigger market. How were you able to get it up to um, such high temperatures? So essentially, uh, we take mirrors and we have a mirror that is reflecting sunlight, but we have a thousand of them, all precisely tuned with software to reflect their solar beam to one single spot. Now, if you take one mirror and reflect light to a spot, it will get warm. But if you take a thousand mirrors and have them align exactly to a single point, you can achieve extremely, extremely high temperatures. So our breakthrough was a technology to computer align all the solar beams to a single spot to achieve that high temperature that opens up this whole new market, this whole new industry. So you're using artificial intelligence to help try to solve the climate crisis. Yes, that is the way we get the cost down to beat fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are so inexpensive because we just dig them out of the ground. The only way to compete is to be extremely clever in how you use your materials. And by using software, we're able to do that. The scaling will obviously require a certain amount of capital. Patrick, are, are you going to invest any further in this company? Uh, this is an existential issue for your children, my children and our grandchildren. I think uh, somebody has to step up. The governments have to step up, private sector has to step up, and most importantly, scientists have to step up to all contribute. So the answer is absolutely yes. What's amazing is that Bill and the team here have truly now harnessed the sun and actually utilizing it at nominal cost. The potential to mankind is enormous. The potential to business is unfathomable at this point. Mm -hmm.